Yeah, n this is Mac did pick up the, the paint for the steel beams guys and they're not painted yet uh, but they will get hopefully painted today I'm just trying to let them dry out so I'll get blocks up and let them dry out and then I can give them a prime and then probably a first coat today might need another coat of that uh, what's it called eff efflorescence paint or something no it's not efflorescence that's that's what happens to cement and <laughs> the salts come out but no it's, it's, it's a fireproof paint to go on the steel um, Obviously, there's a bit of a gap there, but I have a nice wee roller and stuff to go up inside anyway, so we can get that from the top and peel it down. Um, won't be a big problem, um, but yeah, still a, a queer bit of stuff for me to do. Um, but I'll just use this chimney that I was talking about. So I had hard to make it. But basically I had looked at this and then the roof designer when he came he says it's a bad job as uh, the volley and all this water he says come down to hit that chimney so he says if we can squeeze the chimney over a wee bit and um, would work out better so the water's not coming direct on it I suppose you want it just direct down into the gutter but um, the problem with that is that you know it's most of it's already built and um, build the control you have to be four inches I think it is or five inches away from the flue liner and and timber so you're shipped over a block so the idea here will be this was just meant to be a straight flue right up but I think we're gonna get a turn now and turn it out and back up again and hopefully that will throw it away from that you know, obviously water is the main concern, just flat flooding up against like you're you're almost making you're almost making problems with it. So slightly bit of a bad design on the on the, the drawings there. Um but yeah, hopefully we can alter it and it won't be just so bad. Um wish me luck getting these painted and everything loaded up today. Right guys, so we got the coat on there yesterday on the steel beams and they look real good now, don't they? Look like proper steel beams now. Um, quite a bit of work in painting them. Um, just getting so the inside was hard to get at, obviously, because couldn't get my hand down. But yeah, I think they're looking good. Um, I'm going to get the coat of the white stuff on them now. Again, like I was saying, that one's absolutely overkill because there won't be any actual wall on that. I think the wall stop about here somewhere. Um, so yeah, um, get the coat of the white uh, fireproof paint on now. Um, just to top that one, just need to dry a wee bit more, dry it there. I'm gonna just, I'll even just rub the <laughs> my sleeve over it, make sure it's good and dry. Um, and then get this white paint on, and then that's the beams sorted. Um, I'm gonna try and get a coat on it before we build on it, especially them. Um, see the, the in between bits here, because they're. It's very awkward to get my hand in, so if there's black on that, it's just going to get... I'll, well, I could paint it from underneath, but I'd rather paint it from above, so I'm not dripping it on my face. And it seems very, very thick stuff. So hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad, the roller. Fingers crossed. Hey right, guys, this stuff's really, really thick. But it is actually spreading well. It's actually spreading better than the, the primer, but then the primer was having to get over uneven bits and stuff where the primer smoothed this all out and all that. But to show you how I'm getting on. So I've more or less all that one done, still the underneath to do. And I'm just getting inside here. This is the important bit because I'll not get access to the back of this as easy when the, the wall's built on it. But just give me a really quick look at it here. Sorry. You could try all that stuff on there, but just to, to use, it still spreads pretty well. Like. But then, for a hundred pound tent, it should, shouldn't it? You know, that'll spread forever. Mm, not much left to do on the top here. Now I'll get down on the ladders and hit any bits that I've, I've missed, and then over to the, the next one. Hopefully have another wee bit for any bits for touching up um, before the roof goes on. Or even after the roof goes on because 
it says don't leave this stuff exposed I think it was this one for more than two weeks so hopefully the roof will be on in two weeks time and I can give it all another quick lick